Good morning, my Libras. Happy September 1st, everybody. Happy September 1st. Yeah, some of you Libras probably have birthdays this month, don't you? Happy early birthday. Okay, Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Look at that. I shuffle your the main deck and the clarifying deck before I turn on the light and hit record. Thinking of you guys like the creeper I am in the dark. But look, I've got the justice and we got temperance. I love that, Libra. I love that. Okay, like I said, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Libra. If you are Libra, no Libra if you like being a Libra. Well, I'm Libra, I am so glad you're here. I am, I am. Come one, come all. You're all welcome here. Now, this story could have happened to you in the past, happening to you now, or happening to you in the future. Um, take it as it resonates. I do try my best to sum up the entire long-ass video in a single title. If you're still watching this and you're like, this title already doesn't resonate, stop right now. Stop what you're doing. Stop watching. Because it probably won't. It'll drive you mad. The story won't match either. All right, Libras, now that we got our TED Talk out of the way on this Wednesday morning, on this hump day, let's get to it. One more, one more. All right. General energy for the Libras. General energy for the Libras. What is that card? Oh, I see you, Six of Cups. What is this, though? Oh, King of Pentacles reversed. Taurus energy. King of Pentacles reversed. What's influencing it? What's influencing it? What's influencing the King of Pentacles reverse? Two of Cups, love. Ah, that's interesting. What is the reason for the reading? What's the reason for the reading? Why are we all here today, Libra? What is it? The King of Swords. Man, that's a tough decision. Tough decision. Some, one person in the situation is upright, one person isn't. I feel like you're cutting this King of Pentacles reverse out. Somebody who doesn't give properly. With the Two of Cups, it does feel love. What's in the past? What's in the past? The Three of Pentacles. Working. Working with someone, right? Trying to build a foundation up. What is... Look at that Seven of Swords. She wanted to come out really bad. Let me tell you. Let's see if she comes back out. What's in the outcome? It's like she has a story. She's like, sit down, Libra. Let me tell you. Let me tell you what's going on here. What is on your mind right now? What's on Libra's mind? What's on Libra's mind? Walking away. Five of Cups. Scorpio energy. Heaviness. I mean, if you walk in water, you know it, it's weighted. And, and walking away from something that's still... Like, it, it's a hard decision. I feel like this was a hard but necessary decision. What is in the near future? What is in the near future for Libra? What's in the near future? What's in the near future? Six of Wands reverse. Wow. Leo energy. We have Aquarius, Leo, Taurus, Cancer, uh, Capricorn, and Scorpio. How do you see yourself right now? How do you see yourself right now? How do you see yourself right now? Nine of Cups. Wow, Pisces energy. That's single and happy. Probably, and it's you always have to look at the cards that are next to each other on the tarot spread. So we have the King of Swords making a tough decision, seeing something really clear. I mean, it, it's a decision that it's not something you totally wanted to make with that Five of Cups. You, you're leaving something behind that you probably still have emotions tied to, but it's a necessary decision for your well-being. But then you see yourself being like, I'm good on my own. I'd rather be on my own and be happy than be attached having to be attached to someone who's bringing my energy down what's the influencing energy what's coming in to influence us what's coming in to influence us libra what's coming in to influence us what's coming in to influence this king of cups reverse i feel like this is being closed off um this and it's i pulled the female king of cups reverse and the king of pentacles reverse that is so interesting because I don't know until we clarify if that's you or if that's still this King of Pentacles. This line almost feels like, I mean, this feels like hope trying to build with somebody. You're like, I'm all about it, two of cups. This is, you know, nobody starts a relationship thinking it's going to end, right? This is hope. But the King of Pentacles reverse, the Six of Wands reverse, King of Cups reverse is just like, there's no happily ever after here. What is, and maybe too much fighting rather than happiness, what's in your emotions? What's in your emotions? What's in Libra's emotions? 
what's in Libra's emotions and the temperance reverse what's the outcome here that's Sagittarius what's the outcome what's the outcome okay I'm curious to see what card flipped that caused these cards to go flying on my floor the death reverse wow okay that's what stopped it but let's see we shall see it and the tower <gasps> no that is the outcome the tower and the death reverse look at that holding on to something that needs to be let go of libra i, I this could be you this definitely could be a libra and this could be your story holding on to something that you know that needs to be let go of it's creating a lot of imbalance um maybe you're even uh, overly sensitive you know how when you're in a tumultuous kind of relationship or a situation you're just anything can trigger you trigger you and that's the king of cups reverse when the waves get too high and waves in tarot mean emotion um she, she it's like she's drowning in her emotion now that could be you or th this could really be somebody you know connected to you or somebody who's attached to you but you are walking away that's what's interesting that's why i'm like this is kind of feeling like somebody holding on to you to be honest and you're like it's not happening i've given it all i can remember that seven of swords wanted to come out something uh finding out about some naughty behavior that could have been inspiring inspiring us but let's see what's this king of pentacles reverse and the two of cups what is this king of pentacles reverse and the two of cups for Libra? what is this king of pentacles reverse and the two of cups one more king of pentacles reverse and the two of cups did you see that justice card Oh, Queen of Wands. She went back in the Justice. I like that. All right. What is this King of Pentacles reverse and the Two of Cups? Okay. <laughs> Did you see? You guys, I don't know if you saw that or not. This slowly slid out both cards. The Emperor and the Five of Cups. Five of Cups at the top, you walking away. I, I feel like, it, are you happy about having to walk away? No. Three of Pentacles and Two of Cups. You saw a lot of um, potential within this relationship situationship whatever it is and again just like the king of swords down here the emperor makes that tough decision to take back control of your life and maybe this king of cups reverse was you what's influencing it you just you're done with feeling a temperance reverse and a king of cups reverse feeling unbalanced in a situation you're all about this how you see yourself you want happiness you want to feel good again you you just you this just feels like a lot of stress to be honest it feels like a lot of weight what is this King of Swords, the reason for the reading? What's the King of Swords, the reason for the reading? What is it? Why is he here? Why is Libra? I feel like that's you, Libra. Why is this King of Swords, Aquarius energy, the reason for the reading? As I lose my voice. What's this King of Swords? And then, oh, is this what you found out? Sagittarius. Look at the two Sagittarius's reverse. Knight of Wands reversed. Give me another card on that. What's another card on that for Libra? Why is the Knight of Wands reversed here? Why is it? And the King of Cups upright. Ooh. Are some of you dealing with a bit of a Romeo? Somebody who's in and out that doesn't stay very long. Somebody who gives, you know, they just have a wand to give all over the place. And the King of Swords, with this, I feel like one it's like i feel like this is with that knight of wands reverse and the king the king of cups is a, a very loyal honest energy that's why i I'm, I'm hesitant applying this to whoever you're dealing with but because the king of swords cutting this out i feel like this is you a lot of balance and being in the nine of cups preserving your cup right Pre oh my nose is itching sorry preserving your cup preserving your energy preserving and saving yourself for somebody who d actually deserves you it's like, I feel like you're actually taking your cup back. The King of Swords gets out a sword, cuts this out, takes his cup back, and that leads you to the Nine of Cups, the happiness, right? But I can't, with that Seven of Swords is still in my head, that wanted to pop out, what was revealed to you was a Nine of Wands reverse. A bit of a Romeo you had. Okay, what is this Three of Pentacles in the past for Libra? What's the Three of Pentacles in the past? What's the Three of Pentacles in the past? What's the Three of Pentacles in the past? And the Hangman 
again, it's coming out of stuck. The hangman is when you actually get a perspective on something. And look at this king of swords. Talking about perspective, he's got a bird's eye view because you pulled yourself all the way back to really get a view on this. I, some of you became super sleuths looking online, possibly even looking through their phone, seeing, you know, I think your intuition led you to actually go on to, into a seeking adventure. And I think you did find something out. Oh, what's this five of cups on your mind? What's this five of cups on Libra's mind? Scorpio energy. Look at that. Scorpio, 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 and Scorpio and Scorpio. Are you, are some of you dealing with a Scorpio? What's the five of cups on Libra's mind? What's the five of cups on Libra's mind? And the six of cups, Scorpio. With the two of cups, since uh, some of you, this is the person that reached out from the past, you know? And it feels like as soon as it started, it ended, you know? And you had a lot of hope. You had a lot of feelings for this person. You had a lot of like, you really felt connected to them. But I, I just don't think they were emotionally available to you. I don't think they're really emotionally available to anyone. I feel like you are the king of cups upright in this reading and you're dealing with somebody who's the king of cups reverse. It's by it's polar opposites. Night and day here. Okay, what is the six of wands reverse in the near future? What is the six of wands reverse in the near future for Libra? What's the six of wands reverse in the near future? What's the six of wands reverse in the near future? and the lovers reverse three soulmate cards it's it, guys i mean soulmates we have a lot of soulmates throughout our life unfortunately a lot of them have to come in to teach us tough lessons so we learn you know what doesn't what what doesn't belong in our life so we can focus on what does it also puts us on a higher path it clear and it makes us make tough decisions to clear out what is just not needed in our life and a lot of these soulmates are just fleeting. And I feel like this was a fleeting thing that maybe you really thought this was going to be your four of wands, your happily ever after. And I feel like this is just one of those relationships, whoever I'm reading for, to put you on a better path, a happier path, the nine of cups, even if it's on your own for right now. But this is very independent happiness. Your happiness is not going to be based on somebody else. And that's how it should be. You should be independently happy. Uh, and unattached from a search like other people shouldn't affect your happiness and maybe that's the lesson learned here not letting people affect you good or bad you you have to find your own strength that's what the king of cups is all about the king of cups is remaining steadfast no matter how crazy the life of waves are the, the emotions because we all are going to have this in our life right Probably even daily we get we face challenges, but the King of Cups remains steadfast, does not fall over at the first sign of a big wave. And, and not only that, she's, she's on this card, I'm saying she because it's a female, obviously, but she is helping and, and guiding others, you know? And I feel like that is also, there's other people that rely on you and, you know, it's even you know that you can't just take a time out from life because maybe you have kids maybe you have parents that need you or friends and you know it's like the nine of cups is like okay you're putting this into perspective of what the reason was and look at king of pentacles reverse again speaking of putting into perspective that could be you also no longer given to it but i feel like this person is self-focused on themselves they're very materialistic all about what they can get rather than what they can give and Libra's just like yeah got been there got the t-shirt i'm done lesson learned i don't need to repeat this again what's this king of cups reverse the influencing energy why is that here scorpio what's the king of cups reverse the influencing energy what's this king of cups what is that and the nine of cups again nine of cups and nine of cups that's you libra I mean, yeah, it's just, you'd rather, I mean, look at that. When you actually preserve your energy and become like this empress, which is your card and put that energy back in yourself, you take one cup, the king of cups, you know, and you turn it into nine. This is, this is just a happily ever after card within yourself. I'm not saying you're going to be alone for the rest of your life, but this is the energy you want to actually attract love from you. What you're going to do is attract another nine of cups together. We have a whole person and attracting another whole person and together you are the ten of cups you're not raising an adult then you're not taking care of everyone and 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 especially like an adult you know love interest you don't want to be raising an adult 
And I feel like with this, that's what you would have been doing if you stayed. This is this feels like definitely like a rejection is God's protection thing going on. What is this temperance reverse for Libra and their emotions? What's this temperance reverse for Libra and Libra's emotions? What's this temperance reverse for Libra? Temperance reverse. And the eight of wands. Getting out of there. Action is what's going to get you out of this. If you ever say, how do I break? How do I break a cord? We're so connected. Yeah, he's a narcissist. Yeah, he's a player. But but we're twin flames. We're soulmates, Stacey. You don't understand. You know what? This eight of wands is how you break it. There's The only way you can really disconnect from somebody is to reconnect with yourself. You have to reconnect with who you are, where your balance is, where your passion is. That's this King of Swords and the King of Cups and protect yourself, right? Try if you can do a 30 day purge from this person online because I, I know social media makes it really hard to get over people when they're always in your face and they're, they look like they've moved on and they're, you know, you know how, you guys, I don't have to explain it to you, you guys know how that is. But the Eight of Wands is action. Procrastination leads to anxiety. It leads to too much thinking, right? When you're home, when you're home too much and you're in your head, get out of your environment. Get out of your environment. Go, even if you're going to the grocery store, just change your day up. Do something. You have to like try to, you know, the thoughts can really become repetitive here. But the tower, let's see, what's the tower reversed or tower upright and the death reversed? And some of you, I feel like whoever I'm reading for, it's just like, this is this is a hard thing to let go, but, but you are walking away, or maybe physically you did walk away, but energetically you're still there. But what is this? What is this tower and the death reverse for Libra and the outcome? What's this tower and the death reverse? Tower and the death reversed. And the nine of pentacles reversed. This is the minor arcana card of the um, empress, which is your card, and this is a Virgo card. Not seeing your own worth, not 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 just seeing your own worth i think you know your own worth but you're allowing somebody else not to it's like allowing somebody's opinion of you to override your own opinion by giving so much to a certain situation that needs to go because this this feels like a lot of stress i'll be honest i mean i feel like whatever this is could have withered you down to the bone and there but but you're still alive you're still there the essence of you is still there it just needs that it's just reversed because you're not willing and ready to completely cut it out right you're still holding on to nobody's even in that castle anymore it's a crack foundation this castle is not going to magically turn in you know be have all the cracks suddenly repaired it's just i, I don't feel like it's happening but the, yeah the death reverse is libra saying ah there might be still some hope there might be a flower growing on these bones somewhere and it's funny on your mind though is leaving the flower behind and allowing yourself to kind of be reborn. Both those cards, the, the tower and the death is letting something go so you can be reborn from something, right? Nine of Pentacles is it's now time to give back to yourself. It's time to give whatever you were given to somebody who w was willingly taking it. I mean, they were taking it. I feel like you were breadcrumb the hell, like a lot, like really breadcrumbs, put on hold, feeling even possibly feeling rejected and every time maybe you went to walk away they would reel you back in just enough to get you there but the nine of pentacles reverses it's time to focus on yourself so we can bring this in for you the nine of cups and the nine of cups we got it twice so it is coming it is coming but you have to focus on yourself you have to make you happy and how you do that is the eight of wands get out of there this is energetically getting out of there eight of wands putting that time back into you and look at the bottom of the deck. We have the five of pentacles reverse, the three of wands reverse. Ooh, there it is. There's the seven of swords. Yeah, I feel like it will. And maybe maybe your intuition is still here, but you haven't found physical evidence of what this is all about. Seven of swords is being revealed to you. You know, somebody been manipulating you, lying to you. Probably with the threes here in the nine of wands reverse, I almost feel like they were playing around. And, but look what's coming. I love this. Three of Wands reverse, Aries energy, turning your back on it, right? Five of Pentacles reverse, knowing your worth and not allowing anybody to ever make you feel like a Nine of Pentacles reverse again. I mean, if they didn't see your worth now, Libra, they just, they're, they, they weren't worth you. They weren't worth your time. And that is why then you're the Six of Wands. It's getting yourself back. It's it's even better than getting yourself back. It's, it's, it's better than where you, you know, who you were when you first connected to them. 
but yeah that's what i have for you guys um this is tough i mean gosh where is the new love readings i swear but you know these are necessary because i know a lot of people have gone through this but there's just people about to go through this or people who are going through this and this is heavy and this is just like the five of cups here walking away is not easy i don't feel like this was easy but it is necessary to get your balance back and to get you back stella needs to get her groove back libra stella needs to get her groove back all right that's what I have for you, Libras. I hope you have a lovely rest of your week and weekend, and I'll see you next week, guys. Take care.